Hello, I uh, saw Leonardo DiCaprio's uh, documentary before the flood uh, <clears throat> and it goes through all these um, climate change issues and global warming issues and notice how global warming has become uh, global climate change. Uh, the documentary is, is good, it has some valid points. I'm not in the a denial camp or hysteria camp but we affect our nature although they focus too much on the ice and um, and such and not so much on, on chemicals and natural products but there are some things I really uh, think uh, were really alarming about this documentary and that is that Leonardo he talks to Obama, John Kerry, uh, the Pope as if the Pope is some kind of uh, authority in science he, he just tries to be updated with the uh, uh, current uh, questions uh, and uh, issues so you know so so the catholic church is keeping um, pace with what is going on in the world and uh, he, he talks to uh, you know um, um, sort of like an eskimo fisherman who talks about ice um, a scientist on, on greenland and you know those are valid points <clears throat> the ice is getting too dark and doesn't reflect the, the heat, it absorbs it. But on the other hand, we have an article from the Telegraph uh, from September, which tells us that, you know, experts who said that the ice was going to be uh, gone by 2016 in September uh, were wrong. In fact, the ice has uh, increased. Uh, but still, there are some valid points, you know, um, and he also talks to um, Chinese and Indians. Uh, about their perspective and uh, especially in India where you have uh, 700 million people who are using uh, uh, bioenergy meaning uh, wood or uh, cow dung uh, dried cow dung uh, to heat so that's their only or primary uh, heat source energy source and uh, what will happen when they start to use um, um, you know coal or when they get updated in their lifestyle so this is all the same things that have been said for the last 25 30 years if you haven't been living on the moon or if you are totally uh, not interested in this you know about this he also talks to a man who talks about beef and you know the meat industry yeah of course uh, we all know that uh, uh, a veggie diet is, is better for, for the environment, it uh, uses, lot, uh, uses lots, uh, um, a lot less uh, resources. But, as I said in the beginning, he talks to John Kerry, Obama and the Pope. He also goes to the United Nations, the United Nonsense. So, Leonardo is really having a, a top-down perspective on this and not a bottom-up perspective of, of what people can do. Um, and the really uh, political, uh, the real political agenda comes forth when, when he talks to uh, economists to say uh, that uh, the only way to solve this is to raise taxes. You know, if you don't want people to do something, you raise taxes. And this is incredibly um, alarming because after, this is 2016, there are solutions better than just raising taxes on driving a car or you know anything you know i mean this is crazy you can't you can't tax yourself tax yourself out of a problem and um what's apparent to me is that leonardo dicaprio maybe is wanting to become a democratic president choke uh, uh, candidate in 10 years 20, 12 years who knows because the documentary is bashing uh, Republicans in a, in a straw man way, sort of. They take the worst examples. Um, so this is a very politically um, toned documentary. It doesn't say anything new, repeats the same thing. Um, and this was recorded uh, before the 2015 Par Paris um, Environmental Convention. And, you know, what happened to that? Nothing at all. Um, so when he asks John Kerry and Obama, they, they're like, you can see in their face that they, they, they really think, okay, this is useless. But yeah, I think it was a good thing. And, you know, we are building an architecture, as Obama said. So it, it doesn't deal with anything new. And my comment is, 
if Leonardo DiCaprio had just taken 30 minutes and done a YouTube video and just presented 10 products which are natural, vegan, uh, it, would had, it would have had more effect on, on, uh, on the US consumers than this documentary will ever, ever, will ever have on anyone, basically. There are people on YouTube who inspire people to change diets, to exercise, to live a uh, more uh, energy efficient lifestyle and not because of they feel guilty or ashamed or pressured because uh, Obama tells them to or John Kerry or Al Gore but because uh, they find pleasure and uh, some kind of a spiritual healing in that they enjoy it basically. So if he had done this just presented some products or anything from the bottom-up perspective of what people can do to reduce the toxic stuff they're um, drain in their toilets and, and kitchens. Um, that would be so much more efficient than this documentary. I understand that this documentary is going to go home with all the sort of um, with the global worried climate uh, crowd who likes to, you know, do the face, but they don't act, do anything. They just like this sort of sentimental, when I was a kid, I used to watch photographs, melodramatic, melodramatic music, and then now, when I watch the same, blah, 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 this sentimental nonsense. I mean, um, just present the alternatives. There are so many products who are, that are natural. Uh, there's a way of living that we uh, that can combine, you know, the modern technology and uh, just being green. Yeah, to have a green lifestyle. If he had done that, I think this would have been more um, um, efficient. Basically, it, it might not have. It, it maybe wouldn't attract as much of an audience. But this is seemingly very much sponsored by the Democrats you know, the, the liberal United Nations fanboys. It is presented through the National Geographic. Um, it is just a music video, basically. Yeah, that's my opinion. I, I think Leonardo DiCaprio is genuine, but I think he's uh, misled. He's, he, or maybe he's not and really aspires to become a democratic presidential candidate within 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, who knows. Um, yeah, see it. Um, it's on YouTube. I'll put the link below to the documentary. Um, but yeah, it, it is so biased and from a very top-down tax, tax, tax perspective. Um, looking, out, uh, looking at the ordinary man as just a victim and in, incompetent um, mass who can't do anything to change anything. It has to come from the United Nations and Obama and, you know, all that globalist... Um, agenda. That was that. Take care and all the best.